crazy about airplanes. Once they get into airplanes, it gets in your blood and they'll stick with them forever. Jerry Nielsen, I'm Director of Maintenance here at Neptune Aviation. We provide airborne air tankers for uh, wildfire fighting to the U.S. Forest Service each uh, fire season. I have uh, 35 years in aircraft maintenance, uh, various types. I started out in the Air Force. Long ago, I quit turning wrenches <laughs> and went into the management side of aviation, and that's where I've continued to uh, go. Now they won't let me work on the airplanes. <laughs> We have nine P2V aircraft that we use as air tankers. They were all built in the 50s. In the world of airplanes, these are actually pretty basic airplanes. I'd say the most difficult part of them is the radial engines. That's the most complex part of the airplane. But uh, when you get down to it, an engine is an engine, and an airplane is an airplane. There's certain components that they just don't exist anymore. The airframes are basically very simple, and that's the part of the that we could maintain almost indefinitely. But when you start talking the engines and their outdated technology, the availability of parts, it becomes not economically feasible to continue operating them for an extended period of time. Back when these airplanes were designed and built, the maintaining part of it wasn't really thought about very well. So a lot of things are kind of difficult to do. Modern airplanes are designed to be maintained. Uh, my name is Brittany Williamson. I am a mechanic at Neptune Aviation. Well, this is the barrel, the nacelle right here. Just doing some of the uh, annual phase inspection work cards. Took apart the main system fuel strainer, which uh, is the last catch for the fuel that goes into the engine, and just inspected that to make sure there was no junk. At first, it's a bit intimidating, but I mean, once you get the hang of it, you just kind of go. They're old airplanes, and we, uh, we kind of torture them a little bit, so they're, uh, they're good to us. Keep the money rolling anyways. We'll definitely miss these airplanes. There's a lot of history and uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in them. But uh, it's time to move on keep the, modernize the company and, and the wildfire air tanker business as a whole. Uh, the old airplanes are getting older every year, so it's inevitable we've got to replace them. <laughs>